Hello everyone, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from XLB Spin Private Limited. Today in this video, we will learn uh, how to prevent the paste uh, feature on the data validation cell. So, for example, normally in either in your MIS reports or dashboards or any other kind of Excel spreadsheet, uh, when you draw the data validation as a list, for example, if I have a list of months, let me quickly drag and drop to have few months on my column B. Now, if I am required to create a data, data validation as a list of uh, months name, so what I'm going to do is I will go to data tab in the data tools group. There is a feature called data validation uh, from this allow drop down list. I will select list and I will define the source which I require to see in the drop down menu. So once I created a drop down, as you can see that I can select any month name by clicking on it, right? But what happens is later on, if any user copy any blank cell or any other cell and come to this data validation cell and press the control V, that data validation disappear or we are not longer preventing that data validation from copy and paste. So I hope you got the point. So there is a limitation that whenever a user copies something from any cell and paste on a data validation, definitely it disturbs that entire logic which are connected with that data validation later on in the dashboard or any other kind of report. So what we can do. So one way is to, uh, for example, if we go to review tab and click on protect sheet and we lock that sheet with a password. So later on, if a user copy that cell and come to the data validation and press control V. So definitely we have logged the sheet. We have protected that current sheet. So Excel will not let the user to make a change on that protected cell. Okay. So it needs a password to uh, change that cell. But what happens is there is a limitation if later on still I have protected that particular cell. But if I want to change the name of the month, so it will not let me to change the value of that cell because again, the concept is that this particular sheet has been protected. So now again, I am stuck with that issue. Uh, before that, the user was able to copy and paste and disturb and delete or make uh, destroy the data validation cell when we protected the sheet. Uh, the user is not able to disturb that, but still we are not no longer to change the value in that particular cell, right? So what I uh, found uh, one way is, and I want you to contribute after watching the video, if you have any other alternate solution is, so I come up with a solution, which is uh, preventing uh, the paste option on data validation cells by uh, applying a small VBA macro. Okay, so if I press Alt F11, so you can preview the code here. I will copy and paste this entire code on this video description so that you can copy and paste and apply if uh, in future if you want to have these kind of issues. So this is the code which I uh, added. And as you know that whenever you uh, add some macros VBA in your Excel workbook, so you are required to save your workbook from XLSX to XLSM macro enable workbook so that it should work later on as well. So now in this situation, we have a data validation list here and we can change the values. And later on, for example, if some uh, user, if any user copied any cell and comes to the data validation cell and he press control V. So the macro uh, will not allow to paste the value and it pops up a, a, a window and it says no pasting allowed. So this way we can uh, prevent the paste option from the data validation cell, right? So this is one of the way from the macros we can uh, prevent pasting options uh, for the user that it should not disturb. Uh, for, it should not disturb and, and there is one more thing uh, that whenever you open this workbook, sometimes a user uh, disable macros with a notification. So for example, if you close this workbook and reopen later on, so it, it prompt a yellow strip on, on, on below the ribbon, uh, that enable content. So one, once you enable content, then this feature will work. But if you don't click on enable content, 
the user is still able to disturb that data validation cell but still we are able to control that and we hope that the user enable macros and then if a user copy and paste on the data validation cell it will not allow uh, to paste and uh, we can retain the data validation as it is so i hope you like this video and if you have any other idea do share in the comment thank you